Fighting obstacles on a lot of different levels today. First of all, uh, yeah, as soon as Mary Bruce gets here, we're gonna start simulating some breaks again. Seeing what we gotta figure out there, figure out our storyline, we'll get to that later. But yeah, you know, right now, I'm realizing this, this, you know, we're in the training center and for the most part, this is where everybody is. And used to, this machine was kind of up here. So, you know, you kind of rolled from here right up into here and that worked really well. Well, this machine is twice as large and doesn't really fit over there. So now I was thinking I was gonna put it over here. I'm thinking I gotta get a new TV. And I was trying to work through some ways to even put this in. And then I realized, well, wait, while you're working on it, shoot, now we can't see the monitor. I don't know, do I? Do I need to put the TV on the ceiling? Part of it, this machine is to make it as real life as possible. Now, in the end, this relay, oh, well. Isn't that an interesting unplanned learning opportunity? Well, it seems to run fine like that. I may just leave that like that, uh, drive everybody slightly insane. But yeah, this relay during one of the exercises is bad. Now, just because, uh, you know, I want it as real life as possible. They can't pop this relay out and it look perfectly new. I try to put them right in the situation where they feel like they're at the plant. I want them to pop this relay out and, you know, see the smoke on it, smell it, be like, oh yeah, that thing's bad. I try to really get into all their senses to help them learn. So either I need to run a boatload of current and fry the contacts, or I could probably burn the coal. Really, we're just looking for the smoke, and then I'll take the cover and everything off, and that's how we'll contain the magic smoke, and I'll put it on a new relay. Start by trying to hook 120 volts to it across the coal. I don't think this is gonna be enough. In fact, I mean, this is a common mistake, but just in case it's neat. That works. All right, so it buzzes really bad. No, uh, it doesn't look like that's actually going to uh, really burn anything up. No, any thoughts? It wasn't raining outside. I guess I could take jumper cables to my car and go across the contacts. Even then, I don't know. I think that would just make a burnt spot on it and it would quit. I'm about to think about this. All right, maybe I get this totally wrong. Uh, Usually it's a table right here. If I get the table out of the way, then the trainer would fit here. Then the TV could be back where it was and we're back to all sitting on the floor crisscross applesauce. That's why I laugh when people ask me if I can set up training in their at their facility. I mean, place this big and I don't spend an hour moving one machine around trying to figure out how to make it conducive to learning. They want to know why the world I can't set up with a couple of trainers in a conference room. Which that would give me this wall back. I could put the smart cell back in there, although I need the smart cell in the new training room. Plus, it takes two hours to take it apart to get it through the door. I gotta fix that. But yeah, I used to there was a tall table here. Maybe I'll figure that out later. Right now I gotta get on roughing the rest of this program out. So well, I'm playing learning opportunity with my um, trying to burn this relay up. While I wasn't able to smoke it, I did burn the um, LED light out of it. I don't know, I may leave this like this. I'm not really sure yet, but you can see the indicator right there. Hopefully get the finger smasher solved. Got this nice little latch thing here and you slide it right out to the end. That locks it in and at least somebody has to have some pretty good intention before they close the lid now. Well, of course, I'm playing learning opportunity, and now we need to look at look at some logs of a breaker on another trainer in here. And like everybody, we don't set the time until we actually have a problem. So who knows when we had a problem? Well, managed to make it through six more breaks today, and only broke a couple things on it. So I guess we're making progress. And then this guy had a breakdown. So apparently, we have another electrical issue to fix.